All right, we are back in the master suite. I'm happy to report it's still as gorgeous as ever, but the next thing we're gonna tackle outside of her lovely closet that we just redid, we're gonna be doing her master bath. But let me explain a few things. She's not looking to completely gut it or like rip the tile up or rip this shower out. And that is because this shower is the same thing to my friend Allie's shower. It's that like plastic shower base. So we're not gonna be flipping this. We're not gonna be painting it because I learned my lesson when I painted the other shower in my house. So we're gonna avoid that. We're basically gonna update a few things in here, kind of cover it up with some shower curtains and give this illusion of just like a beautiful shower is behind here. So right now her main focus is flooring, like I said, from day one when we were doing her bedroom. When that gets handled, I think all the major changes like the showers or like tub and tile, she can focus on. But right now we're just gonna focus on doing a facelift and kind of hiding the shower and making it look just like insanely gorgeous everywhere else. Uh, and as you can tell, it is a fairly small bathroom and I know you guys love to see how we can make the most of this space. I have done a couple of bathrooms here on my channel already, so I will link those down below for you. I wanted to approach this in a new way, AKA doable and not so DIY where you can tell it's DIY. Today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. I wanted to give a quick shout out and say thank you for being such an amazing and consistent sponsor. We will dive into that commercial break a little bit later though. There will be a couple of DIYs that you can truly customize to any measurements to fit your space. That's why I don't leave measurements for anything on like makeovers because everybody's bathroom or whatever room you're making over is gonna be a little bit different. Don't judge me. I am very cold for whatever reason and I know it's dramatic, but you're gonna have to get past it because I'm a little bit chilly. As much as I love that cracked finish on the vanity, I wanted to see if there was a way we can go about making this a little bit of an upgrade. And I went to put citrus strip on it, which I've used before, but it was not working with this finish. Super tacky and just wasn't worth the work. At least that's what Holly said. She said, hey, we're not demoing anything in this bathroom. Let me look for something that's in my budget that can kind of aid to my dream bathroom, even though it's kind of small, you know? All right, I'm gonna let that sit overnight and come back and try again. But right now we're just kind of nakied right now. I let that citrus strip sit overnight in hopes that it would make my life a little bit easier, which it absolutely did not. So I just called it a wash, let Holly start to look into different vanities and moved on to the rest. I ended up using a color that I wanted to use for my office, but is way too close to a white. It is called Bit of Sugar by Bear. I am going to be using a satin finish. You can use a semi-gloss or something a little bit more shiny. I just personally don't like how sun reflects off a of semi-gloss paint. It just makes the room look a little bit more intense when it really isn't. With this only having one window, I didn't wanna go super crazy and paint it that green like I have previously when I had no windows and it really makes it dark and moody. I wanted this to be light and airy because she has that black accent wall right when you turn to go into the bathroom. So we'll be pulling in black and whites in that, you know, her side table like warm wood tones throughout the decor, but as far as color goes, I wanted to keep it pretty basic. I used to kind of hate on these paint tools that Home Depot was selling, but now I basically own one of everything because they really do come in handy. A lot of people ask me where to start when redoing a room. I swear if you just slap a new coat of paint on, it will make the world a difference. This already looks a million times better in my opinion, but we're gonna be moving on to making little adjustments that you can too actually. For instance, changing out your shower head and upgrading to something a little bit more fancy. Even though the shower isn't being upgraded as a whole, doesn't mean you can't you know, shower in luxury by switching out the nozzle. You can also purchase a different arm. For instance, Holly's boyfriend is so tall. I don't know how he was showering in here before. So I got one that was an S arm that brought the shower head up. So it will be above his head and he doesn't have to crouch down out of control. I know this is going to seem super repetitive and basic, but you can't ignore the fact that when you have a small bathroom such as this, adding above the toilet shelving for storage is kind of inevitable at this point. If you're not anchoring it into the studs, you want to get drywall anchors that can support the weight. I like these guys. They can hold up to 220 pounds, I believe. And the reason I like them is it's adjustable for any kind of size drywall because there's thin drywall, there's thicker drywall, and sometimes that's why anchors don't work. One simple way to not have a basic shelf is to get different hardware. I found this off of Amazon. There's plenty more decorative brackets to spruce up your space. 
Holly couldn't even use this outlet before because it was faulty and not working. So I swapped that out for her and it has one that has a nightlight in it, which I thought was really cool. And then you can upgrade the plate to be the ones without screws. So screw this plate and it will just kind of chic up and modernize your room a little bit, no matter what space it is. I removed the medicine cabinet because I thought I was going to DIY it. I'm still kind of pondering about that, so I'm not too sure. But with this light fixture, I'm actually going to have her uncle come and move the outlet box with all the wires up. And that's when you see that gold light fixture being put there because your girl cannot raise a light fixture safely quite yet. I bought all the different white light bulbs available for Holly and I swapped them out asking her which one she liked more. There is a daylight white, a bright white, and then a soft white. She ended up going with the soft, which is what you see here. You know how I feel about those appliance fan covers that are a yellow. Just get some white appliance spray paint or black, whatever color your room is. I don't know how much they have available and spray paint that ish white, white, not a yellow white. Blech. With the shelves on the brackets, you can extend the wood to whatever is gonna fit your room. Remember that, it's not my way or the highway. I'm doing some 20 inches, cute, short, sweet, but can hold a ton of storage. Quick commercial break to tell you about today's sponsor, HelloFresh. If you guys do not know, I work with HelloFresh very consistently. They are such an incredible sponsor, but they help your girl out to be able to eat when I'm going through three different makeovers in one day at three different locations as well. There is something for everybody from low calorie veggie chef curated recipes each week. You're bound to find something that fits within your taste buds. It cuts out meal planning and prepping so you can just cook, which I love getting to the nitty gritty. And you can also get it to the table in 30 minutes or even 20 with quick recipe options. The pre-portioned ingredients means there's less prep for you and less food waste. You can also easily change delivery days or food preferences and even skip a week whenever you need to. I right now am cooking at 9 a.m. I'm prepping for the day because if the mini human is going to come home, she has a meal waiting for her in the fridge, I can easily grab and go making sure that I eat or also even Paul could come back and grab one. It's just nice to, well, at least that's how I use it, meal prep for the day. If you guys are interested in trying America's number one meal kit, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use 10 Mets for 10 free meals and shipping. And yes, you heard that right. 10 free meals and shipping by going to HelloFresh.com and use code 10 Mets. I've also put it down in the description box below. Thank you so much to HelloFresh once again. Be sure to check them out in the link down below. Let's get back to our regular scheduled programming. This is probably one of my favorite DIYs I've done and it is so easy and so customizable because you can get the pipe cut down and threaded at your local Home Depot if needed, but I didn't have to get any custom pieces for this. We are going to be making a towel rack slash towel storage. I am using half inch pipe. I'm going to be connecting a 30 inch piece to a 90 degree elbow to a two inch piece, then to a T, connect another two inch piece, and then connect that to a flange because that will secure it to the wall. Flip it over and connect a five inch piece or whatever distance piece to be equal and then a flange as well. And that is one side of your rack. You're gonna repeat that again. You're gonna be connecting those two T's together with a piece of pipe that you want your width of your towel storage to be, which for me, I'm using a 12 inch piece. And now you're going to secure that to the wall through the flanges, the holes in the flanges with screws. Either you're gonna install drywall anchors or go directly into the studs. From that rail going across, I didn't want to hang her larger shower towels. I just felt like they would hit too low to the toilet and it kind of freaked me out. So I just opted to put her hand towel there and then just roll up her larger towels and put them higher away from the toilet. That was it for me for the day, but then Holly went and looked at vanities around eight o'clock at night and started sending me different options. And I just wanted her to pick what spoke to her best because I'm not living here. And if she's making this investment, she ended up buying a $240 vanity. I want her to make it worth like waking up and seeing it every day. She went a step further and demoed the old vanity because she likes to get ahead of the project to help me out with my deadlines, which Holly, I love you so much. What Say hello, ladies. Hey. The next day we had a girl's day. Oh, I love PJ. She's the best in that little nugget bow. Oh, and Nicole. I just, these are my home girls. They need to take me off of that screen though. They were watching my videos. Awkward. Anyways, Holly and I just brought the vanity in, installed it. Actually, we didn't because you're going to see we came up with a different idea for flooring in just a second, but I did want to put it in place, see how it fit, uh, install the sink hardware and the gold hardware that she got for the doors. And I love the fact that it's so open on the bottom because we can do like double stacking storage. You'll see later. 
She also purchased a new toilet seat because she said that her spray tan was turning her seat purple. So there was that. And these things are really easy to replace. And again, if you get like a bright white one or just a new design, it's an easy way to upgrade your bathroom. Now here comes my little shower curtain trick that you guys all know and love, or maybe not love, but I'm gonna take two different shower curtains and this time they're gonna be a textured cloth versus like a plasticky. We're gonna line the plastic on the inside. I'm gonna cut down the tassels on one of them. I know your heart's gonna hurt a little bit. And I'm gonna attach it to the bottom of the striped one to lengthen it that way I can really cover the entire shower, giving the illusion that there's something absolutely beautiful behind it. I did opt to sew this one just by hand not very well uh, and use liquid stitch to adhere it in different places but I didn't use liquid stitch all the way across because that will make it so it won't really like naturally fold when you push it together. I decided to use a gold tension rod and hooks, everything is linked down below for you, to kind of pull the gold upwards and hang that as high as I could to let the shower curtain be flush to the floor. It has double hooks so we can put the plastic liner on the inside, that way you don't have to worry about water and what have you. But I did take a step back and think about cutting it down the middle and having it kind of hook back to this each side. I think that would be a great option if the shower were her dream shower, but because we are trying to create an illusion, I'm gonna keep it as is. We're going to be adding some final touches, aka these towels. When I started putting them in the holder, I realized that I wish I could have lifted this or added another bar to kind of raise it off of the hand towel, but I can try to adjust that later. I didn't mind it as is right now though. I thought this powder room signage looked really cute above her window and just added a little extra detail. The shelf brackets that I got from Amazon didn't have a nail going into the back of the wood. So if you're ordering those, I added some construction adhesive and clamped them down to secure them into place. I have no idea why they weren't secured to the back. I added some faux florals and another remember to flush black and white moment and baskets for storage. Underneath the sink, I like easy access. If a plumber were to come or you need to fix something instead of like grabbing everything out individually, I found these double tiered organizers from Home Goods, and then that trio woven basket one had a smaller one, which I think would be great for like her hair dryer or hair straightener so she can easily take that out. But I do think that you should make underneath the sink optimal storage, but easy to access if needed. I'm continuing to carry the gold throughout the bathroom with a toilet paper holder and these two prong coat hooks that I'm hanging on this little sliver of wall for her shower towels. And as far as her storage goes in her shower, I needed to give her that stool and open it up for them so they can utilize the landscape that they do have in their shower properly. So I found these super strong adhesive corner shelves off of Amazon and installed those to be a little bit taller as well so she can fit larger bottles over there. Why I even stenciled flooring in the first place is absolutely beyond me. This is not gonna be a renter-friendly flooring situation because this is peel and stick vinyl with permanent adhesive. These things are extremely thick, so it doesn't matter what type of tile you have underneath, you can't see the grout line. I actually stuck one in the bathroom that I stenciled the floor in to make me finish it because I literally got these delivered to Holly's door and she did them in one night. I don't know how long, she wouldn't tell me. And she did it by herself for the first time. I mean, come on, it's so easy and way less stressful than the stenciling. And for one package, it's about $12. So after shipping, we needed two packages in total. Let's just say we spent 50 bucks on flooring. It's really not that bad in the grand scheme of things if you're looking for a huge drastic change. Before you come at me about the medicine cabinet, I found a mirror that was way too heavy to do the DIY that I wanted to. So I need to figure out how to reinforce the new mirror onto the existing medicine cabinet to be able to swing open without it kind of falling down because the mirror that I chose is this heavy duty metal frame one. Holly and I decided to kind of take a step back, set the medicine cabinet aside and figure out an adhesive in a proper way to do so. But right now I'm just going to show you how I'm covering it up to show you the beautiful before and after. But that medicine cabinet will be in there with that storage. Before we dive into more of this after, can we please take a moment that there is no excuse to not make space in your shower, to not find the storage that works for it, and to not upgrade the nozzle to make you feel like you're living in the luxury that you can, even if you can't demo and make a shower of your dreams. Come on, people. Mm -hmm. 
let me give a quick shout out to the real mvps which are you guys and all your feedback love or your hate doesn't matter on any bathroom makeover i have i went back and looked at the comments and tried to implement a really professional diy take to this i feel like my other ones you can tell they were diy they're a little bit on the jankier side but this one i'm really proud of myself and especially proud of holly where we both step back and we're like whoa this is a huge makeover but legitimately anybody can do it because it's not hard at all that switch from florals to a plant because holly thought it was too country chic and a little bit too girly and i love being able to show you guys the personality that she's adding to the space because i don't live there and just like i tell everyone else like i don't live in your space decorate according to you thank you guys so much for watching i will see you soon for another diy